So the last part, part C, wanting us to know how far horizontally it's going to travel. Well, we do know that it travels two metres on the table. We don't know how long it was travelling for that bit there. And to know what that bit there is, I'm naturally going to need to know what the starting velocity is here, the u for that bit there. Now, the u for that bit there is actually the v for this part here. And so out of all the questions we've been doing, we've never really cared what v is. This time I do. So just working through, we had we knew that u was 2 because we were told, no we don't, we knew that u was 5 because uh, we were told it started at 5 metres per second. We knew the distance travelled there was 2. Uh, we, we knew the time taken for that bit there was 0 0.505. We even knew what the acceleration was there. It was minus 4.1201, wasn't it? Let's use v equals u plus at, shall we? That's probably the nicest one. So the V that we want is equal to 5 minus 4.1201 times by the time was 0 0.505. Being careful to use those values um, in their entirety gives us that the um, initial, the final velocity for this part was 2.9187. Now, that's the final velocity for this part, but it's the initial velocity for this part here. And as we're ignoring air resistance or anything like that, this distance here is just that speed, 2.91, times by how long that part of the journey was. Now, that was done earlier in part A, which was 0 0.49, uh, what was it, 495 seconds, wasn't it? Um, it was just the opposite of that. And so that bit there works out to be 1.445 metres. The grand total journey is the 2 metres here plus that bit there. And so I've got 3.45 metres to three significant figures. Now just going back to these calculations here, I mean maybe V equals UT was the wrong one to use because I used such rounded figures here. Um, you could have used any of them because you had so much information there. So maybe S equals uh, U plus V over 2 times T might have been another one to use in that then we were only using one rounded figure and that might have been easier. But yeah, either way you get to the answer.